When it's time to service the new CAT 993K wheel loader, it's all about convenience and safety. And that means reduced costs and keeping your most important asset, your people, working safely. Caterpillar has centralized many service points and made them accessible from ground level or a platform for safe and easy access. The result is ease of serviceability and a safe environment for your service technician to perform routine maintenance. A quick walk around the 993K is the best way to demonstrate the convenience and accessibility of the service points. Beginning at the left side platform, you see the fuel tank with the optional fast fill located at ground level. Standard fill of the fuel tank is easily accessible on top of the left platform behind a service door. Looking up, you will see the hydraulic tank sight gauge for ease of daily viewing at ground level. As you move toward the left bumper, you will see our bumper service center. This center offers a number of features that assist in maintaining a safe environment while servicing the 993K. Enhancements with this safe serviceability center include an engine shutdown switch, a stairway light switch, a lockable battery disconnect, if equipped, a rear access egress lower or lift switch, a starter lockout switch, a jump start receptacle, and a transmission lockout switch. The lockout feature allows the service technician to perform routine maintenance while the machine is static. Underneath the machine are two easily accessible areas of serviceability. In the rear of the machine is the first service area. A manhole cover with handle can be easily removed by unscrewing three bolts. In this area, the service technician has access to three filters. The two left filters are for the optional deluxe filtration for the fan system. And the filter to the right is the rear axle cooler lube oil filter. Toward the middle of the machine is the underbelly plate, which can be unbolted and swung out for access to the engine oil filter, the engine oil manual drain, and the coolant ecology drain. As you move around the machine to the right side, the standard service center is located below the right platform with ground level access. The standard service center offers a 12 volt converter power port and a drop down table for your laptop diagnostic connections for VIMS and CAT electronic technician, a power on switch, a work light switch and light, implement and steering ecology drains, and grease zerks. If the machine is equipped with the optional auto lube system, the grease zerks are not available. An optional deluxe service center is also available. The Deluxe Service Center offers all the features of the standard service center with additional features that include Fill lights for the windshield, engine oil, coolant, hydraulic, fuel tank, steering, optional oil renewal system, and optional auto lube. These lights turn red when fill is required. Additionally, because there are no sight gauges for the optional oil renewal system and the optional auto lube system, the fill light system shows green when these systems are full and red when it is low and requires refill. Another feature of the Deluxe Service Center is the fast fill and evac quick disconnect ports for the engine, coolant, implement, steering, hydraulics, transmission, and oil renewal systems. Additionally, two ecology drains for the implement and steering systems and a fill tube for the auto lube system are available. Ecology drains offer an environmental benefit by helping to prevent spillage of the hydraulic oil during service. Located next to the quick disconnects and the ecology drains are grease zerks for the front and back trunnions of the rear axle, the head end of the right and left steering cylinders, and lower hitch. If the machine is equipped with the optional auto lube system, the grease zerks are not available. Outside the service center, in the right hitch, is the ground level transmission sight gauge. Moving along the right of the articulation joint, Grouped at ground level are grease zerks for the rod end of the right and left hand steering cylinders, the top hitch, and the midship bearing. Next to the grease zerks are diagnostic ports for the implement pilot, the head and rod end of the lift and tilt cylinders, the implement valve and the axle cooler pump, and a manual linkage lowering valve to lower the linkage safely to the ground.
As you move to the front of the 993K wheel loader, notice the new maintenance-free cat sleeve bearing pins, which eliminate the need for daily greasing of the front linkage and require no routine maintenance for continued uptime. Now that we have finished our ground level inspection, let's move to the upper platforms of the 993K. Climbing up the left side access stairway, your service technician can easily unbolt a swing down side panel and a swing out grill which provide full access to the cooling cores for cleaning with an air wand. Moving up the stairwell, the service technician can open the left side engine access door. The underhood light switch, engine oil dipstick, engine ECM, and engine oil fill tube are located in this area. One of the machine air filters is also located in this area. The technician can easily unhook the lid and change out the air filter. Further up the stairwell, service technicians can easily check the hydraulic gauge with the easy-to-read markings. Slightly higher to the right is the coolant sight gauge. The coolant fill tube is located behind a small access door on top of the hood. On the left side of the platform, next to the cab door, there are two service bay doors. Behind the first door is the standard fuel tank fill tube, as well as the steering tank hydraulic filter and fill tube. The next service bay contains the optional oil renewal system, or ORS, fill tube, and gauge. Moving behind the cab to the middle of the platform, there is an access door to the cab filtration system for ease of cab filter changeout and the windshield fluid tank. Stepping back, a service bay in the platform houses a bank of diagnostic ports. Technicians can stand on the step platform while checking the diagnostic ports. The diagnostic ports located in this area are for the rear frame and include ports for the left and right cylinder, the steering pump discharge, the fan drive, the brake accumulator, the torque converter, the impeller and lockup clutch, the transmission lube, the directional and speed clutch, and the transmission control inlet. A separate pressure port for the hydraulic oil is also found here, as well as access to the hydraulic pumps, the steering hydraulic pilot filter, and the transmission control valve. Please note the wide area available to your service technician if pump removal is required. Located behind the cab are two service centers. The first panel is the engine service center housing the fuel filters, the pilot oil filter, the breaker relief for the implement, and the water fuel separator. The second service center is the hydraulic service center, which houses the hydraulic implement filters and the implement fill tube. On the right side of the platform are two more service bay doors. The first service bay houses the transmission fill, as well as the transmission and torque converter filters. The second service bay door in this area contains the optional auto lube tank. On the right side of the cab is easy access to the electrical service center. This service center houses the 993K powertrain, implement, and VIMS electronic control modules, as well as breakers and fuses. Proceeding down the right secondary access stairwell, you will see the right-hand engine access door, which houses the other air filter, the optional ether aid, and another underhood light switch. On the bottom right-hand platform are two access doors that house the four maintenance-free batteries. In the front service bay are two of the batteries, as well as the main power relay and the starter relay. The other service bay contains the other two maintenance-free batteries. The maintenance-free batteries are a calcium-calcium design and are 100% recyclable. The battery case material is very durable and minimizes environmental impact by preventing ruptures that can cause electrolyte and sulfuric acid spills. With the completion of this short walk around, you can see that the service points are grouped together, all safely located at ground level or with platform access. With the CAT 993K, the key to serviceability is easy access to daily and preventive maintenance components, as well as keeping your service technician safe while performing maintenance. The result is optimal uptime while protecting your most valuable asset, your people.